Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Cozy Conversations and uh, today we have Neha Chandakdi with ourselves um, and in today's episode we are going to talk about her weight loss journey. She is the founder of Nesca Beautiful which is a beautiful accessory company and while following her page one interesting thing that I noticed about her was her transformation. She weighed around 85-86 kgs and she has lost amazing 25 kgs and she is around and she weighs around 60 kgs now so that's an amazing transformation having said that i'd like to tell you guys that this is not going to be an episode which is going to do which has to do anything regarding body shaming we are not body shaming we are only going to be talking about instilling self discipline during any process of transformation so again let me remind you this episode has nothing to do with body shaming both nehadi and me are firm believers of the fact that every body shape is beautiful so please do not take it the other way it's just going to be about self discipline in this episode welcome to our episode nehadi thank you so much mahima thank you so much so uh, beginning the interview, uh, what motivated you to start your weight loss journey? Like losing 25 kg is not a joke. What motivated you to do that? True. Okay, first I think I would like to start with why did I gain 85 kg? So I was this patient of PCOD. Uh, like the first time I got my periods, I had a lot of issue. That's when I had to take a lot of medicines and that's how I gained weight. And around, uh, I guess I gained 30 kgs in a year's time. So that's how I was 85 kgs by the time. And gradually when I uh, thought of reducing, I was already uh, in my second years and that was 2014, I guess. Yeah, 2014. But nothing motivated me i have uh, like every normal girl every general girl i have always went and joined like gym thrice or four times and i've always left the gym like even though i take a subscription of a year but uh, i faced this breakup it is interesting but i faced this breakup and i was going through kind of depression and i thought I might get into a deep depression which uh, is a very sensitive topic nowadays and I didn't really want it to land up in that situation so just to get busy somewhere I joined the gym for the first time and I got very serious I spent a lot of time at the gym and that's how uh, I lost like 10 kgs in one month and gradually I was such fitness freak and gradually I tend to reduce around 24-25 kgs till now yes so I think one important thing that I learned from your answer is whatever happens, happens for good. So your breakup Definitely. actually led you to become a fitness freak and led you to uh, lose a lot of um, weight, yeah. which ultimately has helped you become more fitter. So the whatever happens, version of, yeah, yeah the you, better version. That's what I would term it as. Okay. okay. So uh, given that you weighed 85 kgs at one point in life and now that you've, uh, maintain yourself let's say at did you hate your body at any point of time would you elaborate a little on that yeah i actually never hated my body that was a major thing uh, that i uh, frequently i tend to join gym and i never thought of continuing because i never hated myself like i always loved myself the way i was but the time I started reducing weight and seeing the better changes, okay, for the fact that I joined gym uh, since I was facing the breakup and I wanted to, you know, just get over of it. But end of the month, when I saw myself getting better and, you know, fitting into clothes, which I always wished to and look better somewhere, you know, as per the societal beauty standards, let's say. So I started feeling good about myself. I never hated myself, but I started feeling a way lot good about myself. And I started working on being more and more better. And that's how I'm here. Yeah. Okay. So one very, very important learning from this is that from this itself, it is proof that we are not talking about body shaming because even Nehadi, when she weighed 85 kg, she still loved herself. And I think that is very important during any kind of transformation. Only if you love yourself, will you, you know, have that intention to progress. But if you do something when you feel like you hate yourself, you'll only end up becoming worse. Like even if you might lose a lot of weight when you're hating yourself, at that point of time, 
after you lose your weight will you start loving yourself then it's not that so you know you have to learn to love yourself despite your flaws and you have to accept them that is a very important thing so uh, 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 nihadi like because your sister is a uh, nikita chandakdi who has won miss world nepal 2017 so at the at that point in life when you like weighed 85 kgs did you ever compare like yourself to just miss nepal world 2017 you just happened to say miss world 2017 uh, <laughs> yeah. okay i'm so sorry i'm so sorry uh, no, no, so it's yeah fine. It's fine. so uh because you're the sister of uh miss nikita shandak who is a uh, miss nepal world 2017 uh you know i am assuming i'm not sure but i'm assuming that she might have worked on her body from quite a long time so did you ever compare yourself to your sister or for any other person in your social media for that matter when you weighed 85 kg uh, i think i never compared with her because i was always happy about seeing my sister there and uh it's more about the career i think nikita's career is more about media being in the media it's about the body it's about the face and this is somewhere which is a uh, homework for her uh, for her career she has to maintain her body it is a must thing for me it isn't right so i am into business and it really does not matter what shape i am in and i didn't really care since forever but it was her work and she was working towards her career and nothing made me happy uh, looking at her being fit so I I don't think I ever had the issue, and I never hated myself, never compared myself at any point of time. I always loved myself, but I have this uh, habit of comparing myself uh, with yesterday, maybe what I am yesterday, because I think I want to be better of myself. That's what I would say. Yeah. So again, this is a very interesting point because Neha Di at no point hated her body or did not like her body. she also ended up not comparing herself to other people and this is one very important key takeaway when you love yourself you not compare yourself to anyone who's around you you learn to accept yourself the way you are and you'll be happy for other people the way they are so this is how self love becomes very very important uh, also nihadi when you're trying to lose your weight it can feel very intimidating to go into your social circle or to go into your friend circle because you know people can be like why don't you eat a little more it's just one day it wouldn't matter that much but because you know that you're going through a physical transformation you need to set those boundaries so how did you manage to set those boundaries into place so i think for the beginning days i remember so obviously i'm working so hard and i didn't feel like wasting the energy that i have put up so after college we had this regular since i weighed 85 kg so there would be a reason that i have always been foodie so there was mcdonald's near to my college i used to have large french fries alone so i had a group we all would land up at macd after our college and eat so obviously there, there was this tendency of them calling me every day because we met every day at mcdonald's i i i, I hope you are getting my point right so yeah. they used to call me there after i said them see i'm trying to lose weight but they didn't really agree so i realized maybe i played with the psychology of friends then i said that i am being very unwell for a while and this doctor has actually suggested me else i have to go through surgery there is a major operation i have to go through that's the story that i built up and the people were so scared to actually force me to eat something so that's how i managed with my circle and they never knew that i didn't have any issue as such gradually i started reducing and they were like okay neha you are going through transformation I'm like yes that's what i have been doing and they were so glad about it and that's how it is so again this uh, the important learning that i took from you is uh, you know sometimes you have to lie or sometimes you have to hide things to make things work for you i mean yeah it is always said that lying is a bad thing or dishonesty is a bad thing but sometimes when you have to make things work around for yourself you might have to lie and that yeah, is for good <laughs> for good yeah you have to lie for the good so uh, again uh, during the process of losing your weight did you feel intimidated or scared at any point in time uh scared about what like related to what 
like scared as in you know looking at that transformation it could be intimidating to see yourself because you saw yourself in a very different pattern in a very different way earlier and then later gradually as you lost weight you were being able to see a different version of you so did that intimidate you uh i, I don't think so like i was always like okay the time i first reduced uh, i actually there was a time when i uh, had to purchase 38 waist size jeans like that was the heights like 38 waist si- wasted size jeans like you can't even find in the market that's how it is so gradually now i'm 30 and now i'm 28 now i wear 28 size jeans like i'm just trying to give one example to you so every time i reduced and the waist size i always was very i always have been very excited that i'm not buying any clothes now i have to be 28 and that's when i would purchase the first dress so the confidence kept kept building up i guess and i just wanted to be better 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 and better so i don't think there was anything that i was scared of i was just feeling better feeling confident about myself i started clicking pick pictures which was very rare for me before and you would actually see my before after pictures to be very rare since i never wanted to be in the picture so that's how it was yeah again that again is a very important learning like i had seen this interview uh, of jay shetty the other day and he said that people start feeling confident about themselves and people start loving themselves even more when they see themselves progressing and that is something which you also felt like when you saw that you were progressing that you were losing weight it made you more and more confident it made you more and more loving to yourself which is a very important point so whenever we humans see that we are progressing in any way it might not always be weight loss but in any way when we see ourselves progressing it makes us more confident and makes us feel better about ourselves which helps us love ourselves even more um so uh nihadi as you already said you're uh, you were a big foodie so you know avoiding your favorite food might have been very very difficult for you how did you manage to you know instill that self discipline in yourself you know i'm not going to eat this and uh, how did you self motivate yourself and how did you instill that self discipline so that's again is very interesting as well as very funny story of mine so i still remember i laugh at it like i am a big time pani puri fan and that i think every next girl is but uh, like i i needed two plates of pani puri every day it was a need for me it was like a medicine that you need to take every day right so i used to eat these two plate of pani puri and uh, one plate uh, it cost like around 20 rupees then and i used to actually get chillers do you know that coins okay so i used to get the changes so i used to carry 2 rupees and i used to be like i was in bangalore then i'm like bhaiya aap mujhe ek sukha de do <laughs> like the sukha puri right so i used to actually pay 2 rupees before going to the gym i used to take one sukha pani puri eat that and walk just run away from that person like i need to have that one puri every day before the gym i worked out and i didn't used to drink water for a while to have the taste in my mouth and i worked out that way like having the taste of pani puri all the time in my mouth for a month but the time i realized that i have reduced so much after that everything changed in me i was just like you know if i have corrected this why not this too like it is changing me so much let me do completely for 5 months time i should not eat anything after that i still eat pani puri i just had this thought maybe it is a stupid thought maybe by a very professional trainer he might call me stupid but that's how my rule was that let me eat let me stop eating today for like 5 months let me transform myself perfectly and later i would eat i would reduce i would eat and i would reduce that's what my thought was and that's what i do today i eat i reduce that's how the process is going so that's how it is okay so that again is very interesting you made sure that you were instilling self discipline in yourself but then again you were giving that portion you know like you were doing that slowly like a person who ate yeah. two pa- plates of pani puri every day just went to one sukha puri or two sukha puri every day so you reduced gradually and then you motivated yourself you were like this is not going to stop forever and i'm going to be able to do the things or eat the things that i like eating after some point in time so it's just yeah. a ma- it's just a temporary thing when you made it a temporary thing to yourself it became easy for you to you know yes avoid the kind of foods that you liked eating so uh, avoid at, uh, and wait. later gradually 
to avoid and later gradually i realized i just saw that change in me and nowadays i still control like i never thought i would control this way but i have started feeling you know very cautious about no i have to maintain and i have maintained my food habits thereafter yeah okay so that i think that again is a very important learning whenever we are trying to build a good habit in ourselves maybe we can start with baby steps and when you take those baby steps you might want to reinforce among yourselves that this is going to be temporary and you know after certain uh, days you know i'll be able to do i'll be able to get back into my bad habit not bad habit but then i'll be i'll be a little more lenient with myself we can maybe see our see our see that to ourselves but when we see that good habit doing some amazing transformation to ourselves we not even want to go back to the leniency we'd want to maintain that good habit so again that's a very very important step we'd like to take baby steps whenever instilling any good habit in us so during those 5 months also like it might have been very difficult for you to refrain from eating your favorite food like there could have been moments where you just wanted to devour into your favorite food how did you control your urge during that time the urge was very clear the same as i would say that i just had this thought that i need to have after like i need to have for my entire life and let's stop for 6 months maybe that's the only concept i had there <coughs> but at the end of 6 months like i couldn't really uh, eat a lot because already i had the limited uh, urge of eating food and i understood that you know this is not good for me and my digestive system also could not take it since i have built a healthy lifestyle that's how it was yeah okay so uh, in many cases like i have personally seen many people who lose weight like after following a diet uh, after they've lost their weight they again get back to eating everything that they used to as a result of which again a lot of weight is gained but in your case i've seen that you've been able to maintain yourself quite well so how have you been able to maintain yourself quite well after losing the weight so i think uh, with the people uh, maybe I I would like to say you this one example like there was one of my friend who used to go to the gym uh, along with me so the time they go to the gym they tend to maintain the diet they give their 100% the time they don't they're like okay let me eat and that's how you will gain weight if you are slim today mahima so if you start eating you would gain weight like that's how it is fried food will gain calories you'll get calories in your body you will gain weight right so with me it has always been i have started loving the way i be the, i have started loving the confidence that i have today uh, i need to fit into this clothes that i have today and that's how has kept me that's what i think that's what has kept me motivated and uh, very consistent about checking on my weight and checking on my diet so even though i'm eating unhealthy for a month the other month i'm actually working out i'm actually uh, eating very clean to go to back to the same weight so that if i can't afford to not fit into the clothes that i wear today today that's how it is yes so again i i think i have learned two things from you one self love it's very very important because before the journey during your journey and after your journey i think one thing that constantly helped you was self love because you always wanted to love yourself because you always wanted to feel confident it was easier for you to maintain yourself it was easier for you to be in that process so i think one thing that i've learned from you is self love and the other thing that i've learned from you is you know setting that goal for yourself like i need to do this i need to uh, fit in this size or i need to look this way or i need to control myself that level of you know personal goal i think that is something that i really learned from you so uh, is there anything that you'd like to share to our audience who are also looking for ways that they can transform themselves whether it be physically mentally or emotionally uh, do you have anything to say for any of our audience who are wanting to transform themselves for better so i would just like to say i've started with this campaign that is uh, through my platform that is nesca it's into accessories you have already mentioned so it's a fitness campaign that i started this quarantine during corona uh, so it is a free service they are girls so the major 
concept is not about what workout you should do everybody has an access to youtube everybody has an access to google that they can go through and they can know what food is good for us what exercise would be effective for my belly fat for my weight loss everybody have the access to that but the motivation you have to get up wear your shoes and start working out and that's all is needed the consistency you don't see the results in a week's time no problem you keep continuing there are many people who stop within like maybe three days and because they feel that it's not changing their body but it's a very gradual process you won't eat today and you won't gain weight tomorrow it will happen in a while like it takes time so that's how it is losing weight so give it time uh, be motivated it's more about being consistent whatever workout you do uh, and just one last thing i would suggest because i go through this uh, the motivational journey that I have started the campaign. So I go through and I have a lot of conversation with girls from all around Nepal, all around world too. So they have this major thing that I have lost weight, 77 kgs to 57 kgs maybe for an example. So they have got that bulginess in their body because I just asked them if it was just cardio they worked out as like Mahima, I would say cardio is something that you just jump and you have the sweat all over your body and you lose weight, but it's not about toning up your body. So that causes loose skin and loose skin is very harmful because after you get the loose skin, it's very hard to reduce. It's very, very hard to reduce the sagginess. It is visible on your body. It will make you underconfident. So everybody, everybody, any audience, whether, whether it's men or women so i would just suggest that when you start with your weight journey just think about the body toning up including the cardio just don't do cardio because it will end up with you being skinny but with loose skin so that's what i would suggest that's the last thing yeah. uh, thank you so much nehadi for this wonderful wonderful conversation and as i have done this conversation with nehadi one thing that i really really want our audience to take back is the importance of self love with self love like a lot of self-discipline comes in like self-love and self-discipline they go hand in hand you cannot hate yourself and then discipline yourself into becoming better self-love and self-discipline have to go hand in hand and you have to love yourself to become better loving yourself makes the process of transformation really really easy so let us all take this uh, oath to love ourselves better and more every day thank you so much until then bye thank you so much bye mahima